Hi, welcome to the Functional Skills Maths Network. Today I'm going to demonstrate some bus stop methods of division, a topic normally hated by most of my students. So I'm normally met with, oh no, or moans and groans, I can't do division, I hate it. But if you start at the beginning, it'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to start with a nice simple question to begin with. Um, 183 divided by 3. So uh, what I have to do is I draw a slightly crooked bus stop there. I put 183 inside. Notice I spread it out. Don't do it tiny. It won't work. And we're going to divide it by 3. Okay, so first step, do an MA3 times table? Well, I do, but you might not. So I would encourage, if you think you can get stuck, um, write your 3 times table down the side or whichever times table you're doing. So 3... 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. You can keep going as long as you like. But remember, in the exam, you haven't got a lot of time. Uh, all right, OK. So 1 divided by 3. OK, a lot of people make a mistake there and they put 3. Well you, well, you can't. You've only got 1, so you can't get 3 out of it. So if you've ever got a number less than that number... It's a zero and we carry the one over. Next we do how many threes are in 18? One, two, three, four, five, six. Threes are 18. No remainders, nothing to carry over. How many threes are in three? One. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got an answer of 61 for that one. I'm going to write it at the end, put a circle around it. Right, my next question. Draw my bus stop. I've got 640 divided by 2. Now, hopefully, we all know our two times table, so we're not going to draw it out. How many twos are in 6? 2, 4, 6, 3. How many twos are in 4? 2. How many twos are in 0? Zero? 0. So we've got an answer of 320 for that one. Okay. I've got no units, so I don't have to write any units in. Right, next question. Looks a little bit more difficult, but it's actually not really, because I've got £15.60 divided by 3. Uh, it's got a decimal point in the question, so I'm going to put a decimal point at the top. How many 3s are in 1? Well, that's less than that, so I'm going to put a 0 there and carry my 1 over, so I've got 15. How many 3s are in 15? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put 5 at the top. No remainders, nothing to carry over. How many threes are in six? Well, that's two. How many threes are in zero? Uh, zero. So I've got an answer of 520, uh, 5.20. Now, this is a money question, so you'd expect, if you're the examiner, to see it written like that. Two numbers after the decimal point and a pound sign in there. Right, last question. I've got 64... 0.5 litres divided by 5. So, first bit, how many fives are in 6? 1. We've got a leftover though. So, put the 1 there. Because 6 take away 5 leaves us 1. How many fives are in 14? Well, I know two fives are 10. Uh, so, we've got two fives. We use 10 of it up. So, 14 take away 10 leaves us a remainder of four. Put that over there. Oh, now I've got a decimal point there. So I've got to put my decimal point there as well. How many fives are in 45? Well, I know that to be nine. Right then, so this question was a litres question. So we're looking at an answer of 12.9 litres. So that's what I put as my answer. Right, thank you very much for watching that, folks. Hope this has been a little bit more helpful. Um, don't forget to look at my other videos on the Functional Skills Maths Network. If you've got any questions, um, post them for me and I will try and do videos to help you with any questions that I can. OK, take care.